Welcome to Celestial Chronicles. Have you ever wondered about the ancient origins of religious worship and how it influences our modern beliefs? Today, we're stepping into the ancient lands of Anatolia to discover the legacy of Sibylle, the mother goddess whose influence has echoed through the ages. Imagine yourself transported back to the ancient lands of Anatolia, where civilizations flourished and worshipped gods and goddesses embodying nature and fertility. Today, we embark on a journey to explore the fascinating legacy of Sibylle, a deity whose influence spanned across cultures and millennia. Stick around till the end to uncover the mysteries behind Sibylle's enigmatic black meteorite and its significance in shaping religious practices. Join us as we trace her journey from the sacred meteorite that heralded her presence to the enduring symbols that continue to inspire devotion. Whether you're a history buff, a mythology enthusiast, or just curious about the past, you'll find something to captivate your imagination. So, hit that subscribe button, and let's embark on this journey together. Stay tuned, and let the chronicles of the heavens unfold. In the heart of ancient Anatolia, Sibylle emerged as a prominent figure, revered by diverse cultures inhabiting the region. Her presence resonated in the sacred grounds of religious centers, where devotees sought her blessings for fertility and abundance. To understand Sibylle's profound impact, let's delve into the mythological tapestry of her worship, dating back to the earliest civilizations. Transport yourself to the dawn of civilization, circa 6500 BCE, Anatolia. Picture a community steeped in awe and wonder as a celestial event unfolds, the descent of a mighty meteorite, perceived as a divine omen heralding the presence of a powerful deity. The celestial phenomena ignited fervent devotion, shaping the narrative of Sibylle's divine intervention and influence on earthly affairs. Sibylle's essence intertwined with the fertile lands, embodying the nurturing spirit of a mother goddess. Her association with fertility and nature endowed her with reverence as community sought her blessings for bountiful harvests and prolific offspring. The symbolic significance of the black meteorite intertwined with Sibylle's divine persona, elevating it to a sacred artifact embodying the goddess's presence and message. Across the ancient world, Sibylle's worship transcended borders, permeating through the fabric of diverse civilizations. From the Sumerians to the Egyptians, her name echoed in temples and rituals, adapting to local beliefs while retaining her essence as a symbol of fertility and abundance. As Sibylle's influence traversed continents, her devotees imbued her with diverse attributes, enriching her mythos and reinforcing her status as a revered deity across cultures. With the advent of Christianity, the legacy of Sibylle endured, intertwining with the narrative of the Virgin Mary. The transition of pagan symbols to Christian iconography reflected the seamless integration of ancient beliefs into the burgeoning faith, culminating in the Council of Ephesus's declaration of Mary as Theotokos, the Mother of God. The parallels between Sibylle and Mary underscored the enduring influence of ancient deities on evolving religious paradigms, bridging the gap between antiquity and modernity. In the syncretic landscape of religious symbolism, the figure of the Virgin Mary adopted attributes reminiscent of Sibylle, embodying the nurturing and compassionate aspects of divine femininity. The echoes of ancient reverence resounded in Christian sanctuaries, where devotees found solace in the familiar embrace of a timeless archetype. As we conclude our journey through the ancient paths of Anatolia, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of history and spirituality. The legacy of Sibylle, a goddess who has transcended time and culture, invites us to ponder deeper questions about our own beliefs and the natural world around us. What does the story of Sibylle tell us about the human need for connection with the divine? How do the tales of her worship reflect our own search for meaning in the cycles of life and death, growth and decay? And as we draw parallels between Sibylle and the Virgin Mary, we're reminded of the fluidity of faith, the way it evolves and adapts, yet always seems to circle back to familiar archetypes. Could this be a testament to a universal truth woven into the fabric of our collective consciousness? Thank you for joining us on Celestial Chronicles. We hope this exploration has sparked your curiosity and opened new doors of understanding. What insights have you gained from the legacy of Sibylle? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's continue the conversation. Remember to subscribe for more chronicles that connect the celestial dots of our past. Until next time, keep looking up and questioning, for the answers are written in the stars above us. Farewell, fellow time travelers.